Baidu is the world's sixth largest website. The majority of its users are based in China, where it holds a market share of upwards of 70% for all search engine traffic. This makes Baidu very unique because there are only five countries where Google is not the largest search engine. Furthermore, Baidu was the original pioneer behind many search engine innovations, innovations that Google has since copied, popularized, and profited billions from. For example, in 2001, Baidu allowed advertisers to bid for ad space and then pay Baidu every time a customer clicked on an ad. Google would later copy this concept. In fact, in 1995, Robin Lee painted to the technology he called Link Analysis, which involved ranking the popularity of a web page based on how many other sites had linked to it. It predated the similar page rank algorithm used by Google. Google founder Larry Page even referenced Lee's work as a citation in some of his US patents for page rank. This is the story of Baidu, how it became China's largest search engine and ultimately played a critical role in Google's decision to abandon the Chinese search engine market. Robin Lee was born in China. After developing an interest in computers during high school, he enrolled in the prestigious Peking University to study information management. He would later move to the United States, where he would go on to earn a master's degree in computer science from the State University of New York at Buffalo. After graduating, he joined Dow Jones & Company, where he helped to develop a software program for the online edition of the Wall Street Journal. In 1997, he left Dow Jones to work for Infosig, a pioneer late 90s search engine company. During this period, he decided he wanted to start Baidu. The idea for Baidu sprung up when Lee recalled an interaction he had had with the professor. He said, Do you have computers in China? He said, Do you have computers in China? He said, Do you have computers in China? He said, Do you China in the late 90s was at the beginning of its rapid growth. The economy was growing and more and more people were buying computers and connecting to the internet. Because of its growing number of internet users and the sheer size of the Chinese population, this presented an enormous opportunity. His idea was to create a search engine specifically tailored for the Chinese market. He pitched the idea to a friend called Eric Xu and the pair would found Baidu in the year 2000. Baidu, known to the rest of the world as the Google of China. Founded in the year 2000, Baidu is now China's number one search engine, drawing in more than 100 million daily users. Baidu, which is the anglicized Chinese word meaning 100 times, started with a team made up of seven people, four of which were still students. Because of the busy schedule of the students, meetings were usually held in evenings, sometimes starting at 10 p.m. Baidu managed to raise $1.2 million in initial investments, and within four months of its founding, it had a viable search engine that far exceeded other Chinese search engines. Initially, Baidu's business was based on providing search services to major Chinese web portals, but when the dot-com bubble popped, these companies began having financial issues. They could no longer afford to pay large sums for search services, at the same time, Robin Lee no longer wanted Baidu to just be a little search box embedded in other web portals. So Baidu launched its own independent search engine to directly serve internet users. When Baidu released its search engine, it directly put them in the crosshairs of Google. Baidu devised a plan to overtake Google in search quality. They called it the Lightning Project. At the time, globally the number of web pages grew at about 30% to 50% per year, but in China, they were growing at about 200 to 300%. Baidu's plan was to overtake Google in the number of indexed Chinese web pages. Indexes are essentially a database that the search algorithm would go through to pull results. The higher the number of indexes they had, the more accurate their search results would be. In those days, you would input your query in the search bar and have to wait for a couple of seconds. 
If the result you got was exactly what you were looking for, you would get quite excited as often the results you got were not what you were looking for. It was very different from searching today. So if Baidu could index specifically Chinese web pages at a faster rate than Google, they would end up building a superior Chinese search engine. The plan worked. They caught up to Google's number of indexed Chinese web pages and surpassed it. They began gaining millions of users. Google noticed that it was losing the Chinese market and decided to create a Chinese specific version of Google. But that didn't work. Google simply didn't understand the Chinese market and users opted to use Baidu instead. Google's failing Chinese search engine caused them to try and buy Baidu outright. Robin Lee was against that idea from the get-go, but Baidu investors were pushing him to sell the company to Google. Lee truly believed that Baidu would be worth more than what Google was offering. His investors at the time asked him how much he thought the company was worth, and he said $2 billion. Google was not willing to acquire Baidu at that price. Baidu would later IPO. By the end of the first day of trading, the company was valued at nearly $4 billion. In 2010, Google closed its operations in China. It is important to note that a significant factor as to why Google left China may have been the Chinese government. The Chinese government is notorious for having a bias towards local companies and often makes it very hard for foreign tech companies to compete locally. In addition to this, Chinese search engines are censored and Google's employees were not willing to work on a censored version of Google. But even with all this, we cannot ignore the role that Baidu played. As of May 2018, Baidu's market cap rose to $99 billion. Baidu has more than 7,000 AI-related patents in China, the highest in the country. It is considered to be one of the most important pioneers of artificial intelligence technology in the world. Thank you for watching. With that said, have a great rest of your day and see you next time.